what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. This game being played at Wembley Stadium, which is, in the eyes of so very many, the venue as far as football is historically concerned. That was impressive. Match that. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully, the style of contest. So we're up and running. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Timo Werner. He's quick and direct, Peter. Loves to play on the shoulder of the last defender, and he's always looking to make that run in behind. It's Giroud! Chance there, first of the game. Zero very nearly made that count from a combination of look and, and good judgment. <laughs> Referee's given a throw. Gnabry. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. That's the throw. Kivik. And it's Gnabry. Take. He's looking up for options on the left. Ginter. Pavar hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Werner. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Done very well to intervene. That has put a stop to that. And managed to get it away. And it's been taken straight back. Brandt. 
Kroos plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Looking to break out here. Loris deals with it effortlessly. Conte. And it's Giroud. That's the through ball. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And out to safety. Tony Kroos. Brandt. Werner. Goes for goal! Forward it goes. Rudiger. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Brandt. He's got options out wide. It's a loose ball. Griezmann has a look inside the box. Keeper's ball. Hernandez, he ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Shapes for an overhead. It's off target and by quite a way. Conte. Titi sends it forward. And he has been fouled there. And here's Canabri. A really good feat from him. Now, surely. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Griezmann. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? And it's Giroud. He gets past his man. Giroud! Tony Kroos plays it out to the wing. Werner. And helps available out wide. That intervention was very necessary. It's got through. Matuidi. And it's Canabri. He's got away. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time.
And we are underway again. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Werner. Oh, nice touch. Matuidi. Kante goes looking. Now it's Giroud. Now well, they could break here. Battles to win it back. All the way back, and they start again. Matuidi. Hernandez crosses it in low. Gnabry. Nil nil still. It's a game that needs a bit of life injected. Oh, real danger here. France have it back and they can go again. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Out to the left it goes. He's in space and looking for options. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. It's a good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. He's made sure that that won't get through. And there's a long ball. It's a promising ball. Werner. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Baran drives it forward. Griezmann with a really impressive run, which nearly went the whole way. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Gets wrestled off the ball. Breaks on here. That is Conte. Mbappe! And they've been caught out here. Ginter knocks it away. It's played forward. Ginter. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. That's a throw. So we have a double substitution going on here. Tweedy, and here's Giroud. <laughs> Tries a shot! Oh, the ball's come loose. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And that is going out for a goal kick. Mbappe is the guilty party there. Has a hit! Sticks it away! Finally the breakthrough!
when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So we have our breakthrough. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. That's gone a long way up and away. And that's been one straight back. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell. Got a shot away. Ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. And it's Conte going for goal! Here's the chance to cross. He's in! It's Pumper! <laughs> Time added on will be two minutes. Gnabry gets his foot in there. Werner. Uh, and that will be the final act. So it ends 1-0, an enthralling game and an agonisingly narrow defeat. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? France never quite got to grips with this game, Peter. They look slow and cumbersome in trying to counter much sharper opposition. Just not good enough on so many levels. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.